When Jesus says in all the four Gospels, anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. He seems to be saying that there is a problem with my ordinary self, that which I always think is what I am. So we really cannot leave it in charge as the captain of our journey towards God. Great things are ready for us in the Lord, even in this life. But all paths in this journey go through a radical humility, a kind of dying to our ordinary self. St. Paul quickly dispels any notion that our ordinary self is ultimately in charge. You are not your own, he says. As St. Vincent de Paul says, humility is nothing but truth, and pride is nothing but lying. Do you wish to rise? asks St. Augustine. Begin by descending. You plan a tower that will pierce the clouds? Lay first the foundation of humility. No one reaches the kingdom of heaven except by humility. For the Catechism of the Catholic Church, to become a child in relation to God is the condition for entering the kingdom. For this we must humble ourselves and become little. Even more, to become children of God, we must be born from above, born of God. We have been made sharers in the divinity of Christ. The great mystic and teacher, St. John of the Cross, assures us that to be taken with love for a soul, God does not look on its greatness, but on the greatness of its humility. However, a mature spiritual humility does not mean a fight full of despair about myself. It is calmness and strength. As St. Teresa of Avila explains, humility does not disturb or disquiet or agitate however great it may be. It comes with peace, delight and calm. 